In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to create an automated webinar using Google Hangouts. So if you saw my video yesterday where I talked about my top five uh, online business tools that I use inside of my business every single day um, that really helps me to run my business on the internet, one of them was Webinar Jams and EverWebinar. And um, EverWebinar, as you can see right here, is actually um, an upgrade for Webinar Jam. Webinar Jam Studio was the first to come out, and then um, they launched EverWebinar. And I'll tell you the difference between the two. The first one, uh, Webinar Jam Studio, is just basic webinar, live webinars that you can stream live and have your Google Hangouts hosted on this platform. Um, you can create paid webinars, free webinars, you can track, um, you know, to see how many people are uh, registering for your uh, webinars, you can generate leads and all that stuff with it. EverWebinar pretty much does the same thing except that EverWebinar allows you to create an automated webinar, which is what we're going to talk about today, and I'll show you how easy it is to set up. They're both pretty easy uh, to, to set up. So when you want to do an evergreen webinar, the only thing you have to do is flip the switch. Okay, so now we just flip the, squit, the switch to ever webinar, and we go here to where it says new webinar. And now it's just about filling out the form. And that video pop-up that you just saw pretty much walks you through each step that you have to go through. And you'll see here that there's video help. So if you get confused with a certain section, all you need to do is click the video and the video will, tutorial will pop up and it will show you how to use that specific webinar. So at this point, it's just about filling out the form and going through the 10 steps um, from configuration all the way to finishing the actual um, regist uh, uh, ever webinar um, creation. So all you need to do is, you know, source of your ever evergreen webinar is going to be, um, you know, you're going to pick one of these, right? So it's either going to be a file or a live webinar jam session. So you'll choose which one you want. Um, You'll put your link here, the duration of the webinar. <clears throat> here is basic information, uh, basic configuration. So you're just going to basically name the webinar and the description and the language. And if you want it private or list it, you can fill out all of that here. And your webinar schedule. This is where you could... Um, create the webinar schedule, but also uh, create um, certain times of the day that you want to schedule your webinars, that you want people to register for your webinars for. You can also exclude certain dates, okay, because nobody's going to uh, do a webinar on New Year's Eve or, you know, uh, Christmas or you know whatever so you put the dates that you want to block out here and it's usually just you know the holidays really so for example if we wanted to block out 4th of July we choose that and click plus and it adds it to the list okay so now the auto automated webinar will not show up for people to register on that specific day okay um, and you know, there's just a lot of cool tools, uh, features inside of here, and I'll just go through them really quickly. Um, but let me go to the one that I actually have uh, running right now. Okay, so you can see here, this is a webinar that I have running right now. You can see that every day at 12 o'clock and every day at 9 p.m. Eastern Time is when I is when I uh, have my two webinars. So when people land on my page, and I'll show you what the page looks like now. I'll just grab this page right here, open it up in a new window. Okay, so you can see here that this is my actual page. Okay, so you can see that when someone comes here, 
it tells them how much time is left for the webinar um, it, it allows them to reserve a spot so when they click it they get to choose the next available uh, webinar okay so they get to choose a date so let's say they wanted to attend Tuesday and they would pick a time either 12 p.m. or 9 p.m. because that's what I have it set to um, they could just fill out the form and then click to register right so that's how and this is just one of the styles of the pages this is one of the templates they have several templates inside of uh, Webinar Jam and, and webinar, uh, excuse me, ever, ever, ever webinar. Okay, so at this point, you know, it's just about um, going in here and testing, well, not testing, but filling out the form to see what's what. Okay, so here's what I want to show you I want to show you the analytics where you can see, um, you know, who's registering for which webinar and all this. Um, analytical stuff that you definitely want to keep your eye on so for example if I wanted to know who how many people registered for let's say tonight's webinar at 9 p.m. Eastern time all I have to do is click here choose my webinar um, all sessions and then right here I'm going to pick today well actually excuse me I'm going to choose the 9 p.m. Uh, webinar to see how many people registered for that one today so I'm going to choose today and I'm going to click go and right here where it says registrants and attendees if I click on that we'll see that I have nine people registered for today's webinar okay and um, what I'm doing with this is I'm actually running Facebook pay-per-click campaigns to the actual webinar Okay, to the actual webinar so every single day people are seeing my ads on Facebook they're seeing the capture page that I created for it um, they're being taken to the registration page that I just showed you a second ago and then they're choosing a time a day and a time that they want to attend the webinar so it's either going to be you know today or tomorrow or the following day at either 12 or 9 p.m. Eastern time so here's the cool thing about it Tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, when this webinar is happening, um, I'm not there. I am not physically there. Why? Because it was a webinar that I did one time, and it's working for me over and over and over and over again on autopilot. And I'm making sales while I'm not even on my own webinar. Okay? Although the viewers see my webinar as being. Um, a real live webinar they get to chat they get to interact there's questions there's sales popping up because I have like little notifications as you can see here is notifications I have notifications set up so that when I do make sales the audience will see pop-ups that so-and-so just purchased the course and, and whatever the case may be um, so there's so many cool little features inside of um, ever webinar that will allow you to create really awesome, robust, um, um, uh, stealth or, or evergreen kind of webinar so that you could just create your webinar one time and then it's working for you 24-7. So if you enjoyed that and you want to get your hands on EverWebinar and uh, Webinar Jam Studio, then go ahead and click that link right below this video and go and um, purchase yours right now and um, if you have any questions on getting it set up just feel free to hit me up on Facebook and I'll see if I can help you out alright so I'll see you guys on the next video